Hey guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. You know, big movie coming out this week, The Boxer, um, with Mark Wahlberg playing Mickey Ward, who I know growing up, I was a big fan of Mickey Ward, especially in the Arturo Gatti fights, are probably the three best fights I've ever seen in my life. Um, well, everybody's talking about how in shape he is for this movie, and I haven't read that it took him two years or so to prepare for this role in his head to get in the shape that he wanted to. But that said, I think one of the critical things we can learn from boxers is how much core training is involved even when we're not doing a single crunch, just executing a punch. Now, I had an opportunity to train in New York City at the Kingsway Gym, which is one of the greatest boxing gyms in the world, with my very own Mickey. His, his, I swear to God, his name was Mickey, um, and he was an old Irish guy, but he was an expert boxing trainer. And one of the things that stuck with me the most was teaching me how to actually execute punches, namely an uppercut, like a, uh, a right cross or a hook, and then a blocking mechanism, and how much core is involved when you do that. So I said, why don't I turn that into a workout for you guys that you could do without ever doing a single crunch that will fire up your core more than anything else. So we're gonna grab one of the athlete elastic bands, the black bands. Again, you can do it with any other band, guys. I'm not trying to just sell my bands here in these videos. I'm just trying to show you things you can do. But with this band, it's actually a, a perfect setup. So now, when you do an uppercut, people may think that the uppercut comes from, you know, punching your arm in this motion. It really doesn't. What you're doing is, you're actually setting your arm in this sort of 90 degree angle bend. You step in, and it's a rotation from your core. It's that. I'm not letting my arm travel away from my body, or even breaking this angle of my arm. So you're basically stepping in and rotating up. Now we can just fire off about 20 of these. Okay? We can keep it like that or we can step in each time, which is technically correct. So step up, step up, step up, step up. And you can see the core each time has to fire. So we can do some really ballistic, hard, heavy, rotation heavy, but powerful core activation. Now, next one, the right cross. Again, it's not simply just punching straight out. That doesn't generate the power that we need. If you want to knock somebody out, you got to get your whole body involved. So now, what we have to do is get the lower body to pivot with us, which is going to bring the core in. So it's actually a punch and a pivot at the same time. So you basically punch and pivot at the hip at the same time. Now, he would always tell me, keep your hands near your chin because that's your most vulnerable spot. So the hands stay up here and you punch. Again, it's that quick pivot and punch at the same time. Now, again, you can fire off without any sort of, you know, jumping in between, just straight through. So say sets of 15. Gets you winded, but works the core another way. Now, last thing, blocking. Again, you never want to take your hands away from your chin. So, you know, the second you try to block, someone tries to punch you in the body, you go like that to block them, they're going to knock you out. So what you're supposed to do, keep your chin guarded and block like here, which is an obvious oblique heavy move. Take another elastic band, the red band, put your arm through, come out a little bit. Now you can do the two bands together at the same time. But basically, get your hands up. You can kind of, you know, box around if you have to, shadow box. But when you're going to get the punch, you drop, you drop down. Here, down. Here, punch comes in, down. So 
every time. Oblique crunch, just like that. So now, you don't have to throw in the boxing maneuvers to this if you don't want. Put a band up high, take yourself out here, crunch down. So if you're not into the whole boxing thing, if you don't like Mickey Ward, and you don't like Rocky, then who cares? But get into your, get into your flow, whatever it is, down and block, down and block. If you have both bands going at once, block, execute a punch, block, execute a punch, block, uppercut. Do that for five minutes, continuous. Guys, I'm telling you, you'll get a very unique guy workout. And again, you don't have to be a professional athlete, guys, to look like one. You just gotta train like one. So all you have to do, head to athletenext.com right now, get the Athletenext training program, learn how to execute athletic type movements, not to become a pro athlete, but to look like one, guys. We'll be back here again next week with some more videos. Uh, holiday season coming up soon, so we might have something holiday themed for you. I'll see you again next week.